Hi, I'm Dylan Black. Welcome back. Uh, Tis the season for a good ale, and to help us out with that, Joel Manning is with the Mill Street Brewery. Hello, Joel. Hi, Dylan. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Mill Street Brewery, by the way, how, how many years has it been open at this point? Uh, the Ottawa uh, Brewery has been open since 2012, so this okay. is our almost our sixth year. Well, congratulations on that. Love Thank going you. to this place, and I, I find it's always the place that I, I seem to connect with my buddies at for some reason. When we start knocking around ideas of where to go, hmm. we drop by your place, and yeah. it, it's got to be a busy time of year for you. It is a very busy time of year, absolutely. I mean, people are socializing, people are getting together with their friends, and that's what we're all about. So okay. it's, uh, When you think about the brewery, you always think Le Breton. It's in that area right beside where Blues Fest happens. What's the exact address? It is. It's uh, 555 Wellington okay. uh, Street, so right beside the Portage Bridge down mm. at the river And you can level. see the Peace Tower. You can see it pretty much right from absolutely. where you're at. You can from our patio. Okay, so the patio is definitely not open. <laughs> no, not today. For uh, maybe some hardy <laughs> Canadians, perhaps, but you've got uh, all kinds of cool stuff here. We're talking about ale. You've got the winter mix pack. Now, is this, yep. uh, is this new? This is new. I mean, we've made winter uh, packs. We've made summer packs as well. We've made them for the last almost 10 years, so mm -hmm. it's a big thing for Mill Street that we do um, is to make these uh, mix packs. We're all about variety. We're all about occasions, and we're all about sharing, so... Uh, this one has just come out uh, in the last couple of weeks and has some new beers in it. Okay, so can you walk us through some of the beers that people would get to taste? Sure. Um, we have our, people know our regular ones, uh, the organic beer, our organic lager is our, our core one. We also have our 100th Meridian, which is our second organic beer that we make. We have our Tank House Ale, which is a very famous beer named after the building that we started in Toronto. We have our West Coast IPA here as well. The two new ones that are here for the winter are the Imperial Coffee Porter and our McCanny Pineapple IPA. Okay, so can you tell us a bit more about those uh, both individually? Yeah, they're the McCanny is an IPA, which is an India Pale Ale, and it is brewed um, sort of two ways. It's brewed uh, with malt and hops. We let that ferment out, and then we add a whole pile of uh, pineapple, fresh pineapple juice to it. Wow. And let it go through a second fermentation and re-ferment that. So you think pineapple, maybe you think it's going to be kind of a sweet, desserty thing. It's not. It's actually a very dry, very fruity kind of floral thing. Mm -hmm. The Imperial Coffee Porter is a derivative of one of the first beers that we ever made in the Toronto uh, Brew Pub. It is made with Balzac's coffee. It's made with their winter blend, which is a special beer, uh, special beer, special coffee um, that they brew in the, they roast and brew this time of year. And uh, so it actually has coffee in it. Mm. It's not enough coffee to be a caffeinated beverage, but it's okay. more for flavor than anything. Okay. A deep roasted kind of uh, very full bodied beer. That's pretty unique though, because I don't hear about many beers that are infused with coffee. For, for no, uh, they're not. It's a, it's a very famous beer that we made was our original coffee porter, and this is kind of its big sister. Uh, uh, I so. like that. Okay. So you've got to the impact of, of, of beer in there and coffee. Like, that's a double whammy. I like that. Yep. <laughs> but it's even though you said that there's not much coffee in it, like, it's still, <laughs> no. like, that's, that's no. a real pick-me-up is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how yeah, you look it at is. it. Okay. Uh, how about food pairings as well? Because yeah. you brought uh, uh, some selections here. Yep. Which foods would go best with which ales? Yeah, I, I've brought a number of our dishes from the uh, Ottawa uh, Brew Pub. So we have, for example, we have a uh, roulette here, which is a really uh, rustic sort of pate of rabbit and pork. That I would say something like the 100th Meridian, our amber lager would go perfectly well with. We have a selection of cheeses here, which is, includes cambazola and brie and beamster. Uh, that would work really well with actually pretty much any beer. Beer and cheese is something that people should pay more attention to, especially yeah. this time of year if you have a cheese plate, a cheese board, and you have people over. People think wine and cheese. Uh, people should really be thinking beer and cheese. Okay. They, they, if you haven't done that, uh, try that. It's, it's misunderstood, uh, I guess. It's a wonderful thing. They go together very, very, very well. Okay. Uh, we have a Makani um, marinated uh, shrimp here, uh, which works very perfectly well with our Makani pineapple IPA. We have some... Uh, Actually, cold smoke, that's elk loin from Canada Elk Farms, and some winter sausage here. Something like that would go very well also with uh, the dark beer. The uh, sort of, you think roasted meats and you think kind of heavy charcuterie, sort of those mm -hmm. smoky flavors. That works very well with the Imperial Coffee Porter, those flavors. It's kind of match strength with strength. If you have a very light tasting dish, match it with a very light tasting beer, and heavier dishes work very well with heavier things. Uh, we actually have a pulled pork carnita here as well, which is made with salsa verde and mm -hmm. uh, house smoked uh, pork, something like Tank House works really well with that kind of sweet heat. And we have our very famous pierogies here, which are made with leek and uh, cabbage and uh, also house smoked uh, pork belly. Sounds really good. I I'm pretty starving after everything that you just <laughs> mentioned there. Uh, no, so obviously you can you can get these pairings if you came into the Mill Street Brewery if you want a dinner or yeah. uh, to, to, to relax Absolutely. with the gang. Uh, okay, so do you believe in local? Because I, I noticed you mentioned a bunch of local 
Yes, uh, we do. Absolutely. Uh, both in ingredients that we brew with and, and certainly ingredients that we source uh, at all of our pubs. We have a Toronto brew pub. We have a St. John's Newfoundland brew pub as well. Oh, do you? Yeah, and we have, a, we have a Calgary, Alberta brew pub as well. How so many are there in total? There's four of them. There's four. Uh, so, it's, so we, wherever we go, uh, we source local material. We like both brewing, as I say, brewing ingredients and very particularly food uh, ingredients. Uh, okay. Chefs are very, very important for that. I mean, craft brewing is a very, is a bunch of small ideas. It's not mm -hmm. one big idea. It's a bunch of little um, sort of intimate ideas. I mean, beer is meant for you to drink with your friends and laugh your guts out. That's yeah. what beer's purpose is on this planet. So <laughs> the more kind like of informal that. and the more connected that we can be to that whole experience, the better. So local is really important. Okay, and obviously we can pick up a winter mix pack by dropping by Mill Street Brewery. Absolutely, or the LCBO. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for being here today, and uh, you must be looking forward to seeing all kinds of family and friends drop Absolutely. by the Mill Street Brewery over the holiday season. We are. Please we thank by. you very much, Joel Manning, for being here with us today. MillStreetBrewery.com for more information. Awesome. And I can't wait to eat now. So thank you very much. <laughs> and, so. and have a drink, perhaps. Uh, coming up, our friend Sophia Jacob is joining us on the show to give us some more uh, tips, gifts for the Christmas season. Next.